okay so now we're gonna apply the accent piece to the exterior front to the bottom edge matching the bottom edge this is vinyl and I've added two uh, eyelets for decorative purposes you don't need to do that so you replace this you line up the edges both of the edges and you take this to your sewing machine and you're going to sew around the top edge using your 1 8 seam allowance you'll come down the side go around the bottom and up to the other side let me do this on my sewing machine and come back so I've completed sewing the accent piece onto the bottom of the front exterior panel I've also added a little uh, label and I repeated the same for the back bottom exterior piece okay so now we're going to install the zipper pocket so this is the back exterior bottom we're going to match it up right sides together with the back exterior top like this Make sure the raw edges are matching correctly okay now as you can see I've put some markings on both ends of this panel you will measure half inch in from the edge and mark half inch in from this edge and put a mark now you will take go to your sewing machine and you will sew from this end to this point using a three-quarter seam allowance using your normal or short stitch length which is about 2.5 mm then you will stop back stitch at this point then you will continue along here using a long stitch length the longest that your machine has to offer until you reach to this mark then you reduce your stitch length again to 2.5 and you will continue to the end making sure to back stitch at the beginning and at the end okay I've completed the sewing straight across using three quarter inch seam allowance now you will open up your your piece and open the seam allowance like this you can finger press it or you can take it to your ironing board and press it open Now you will take your zipper for your back pocket and you will line it up with the, making sure that the stop is at half inch mark behind the half inch mark just behind the half inch mark like this so you place it about here half inch from the edge facing down with your zipper pull on the left you can use pins or you can glue this in place you will go down my zipper is longer than 11 inches so I will remove this part and you will sew again to this end stopping <coughs> making sure that your stop if you're using the 11 inch zipper make sure that your stop is below this half inch mark so you measure in here half an inch make sure your stop your zipper end this so part here if you're having the correct length zipper will be inside of the half inch mark so you make sure that you line up the zipper in the middle of the seam and you will sew over flip the top of pocket piece up and out of the way press it or you can use pins to keep this out of the way now we're going to put the second pocket piece this way matching the raw edges Okay, 
we're gonna take this to our sewing machine like this and we can baste this in place using a long stitch length then after doing that we will turn it to the right side and baste it in place so I show you that after I do it because this might seem a bit confusing to you so make sure that your two pocket pieces are right side facing like this take the sewing machine baste in place so I've completed sewing the zipper in place now the next step is to take your seam ripper and remove the stitches half inch in on both sides so I'm going to start in the middle I'm guessing that's about half inch to the other side. There you go. And now you can see your zipper. nice so you remove these threads and clean it up nicely and your zipper pocket is now made well it's not complete but at least the zip is installed and as you can see the zipper pocket extends below the bottom of the bag so you will take your scissors or your rotary cutter whatever cutting tool you use and you will trim this down to match the bottom, this bottom piece. You'll trim it down to match the bottom of the bag. Hey guys, so I've completed sewing up the back pocket. So you can open here and you see it's finished. Okay, you can close this back. Now, the pocket panel in the back was a bit longer than the exterior fabric. So we trimmed the bottom to match the exterior bottom. And then we take this to the, to this to the machine and sew down the two sides and around the bottom, holding the pocket pieces in place and securing the pocket. Next we'll put in place the closure which we'll be using a magnetic snap so take your pattern piece and line it up marking exactly where according to the pattern the placement for your magnetic snap using the uh, pattern piece for the exterior front panel we will line it up and mark where to place the magnetic snap according to the pattern so I'm going to put a mark here and here and these are the points where we will place our magnetic snaps So the female snap will go at this point and the male snap will go at that point. So this is the snap. Okay, so this is the male point. This is the male snap. This will go to the top. And this is the female snap. This will be placed in the bottom. So you'll take your seam ripper And make a first of all we make a cross we don't want to go too wide we'll use this is the backing for the magnetic snap 
we use it to mark exactly where the prongs will fit so place it exactly over the point that you marked and draw two lines do the same for the bottom you'll take your seam ripper and be very careful when cutting into your fabric you don't want to make a wide hole just be very careful and just try and follow the line that you made don't want your slit to be too wide so there we have it now you take your male part and you place it through the holes that you made like this there you go now you repeat for the bottom be very careful there see goes in easily turn your part fabric over and you can install the box and you can turn the prongs inwards or out I'm going to turn it inwards using my scissors use the scissors to press my prongs to the middle like this Like that. And you can just test it to see how it fits. And there you go. So now, to complete the closure, we're going to put two pieces of interfacing on the back to make sure that the prongs doesn't scratch into your fabric or just to secure the, the back just cover the back with this and use your iron and press it so that it stays in place you can use two pieces of scraps you must have some scrap interfacing remaining you use that to cover the back of your snap so let's install the connector tabs this these tabs are what you're going to connect your adjustable straps onto to make the bag a crossbody bag I have a tutorial on my blog page on my blog website I have a tutorial on my blog showing you how I made the connector and the straps and there's also a video on YouTube I will place the link in the description and I'm going to add the video in the cards in the top right of your screen so let's connect this we will measure up from the bottom just below where the zipper ends the back pocket zipper so we use this and we line it up with the front panel this is the back panel with the zipper we will line it up with the front panel and we'll mark on the front panel just below the zipper a line and that on both sides and that is where you're going to place your connector tabs so i have my lines already drawn in i'm going to place my connector tabs just below that on both sides just on that mark place our connector tabs we take this to our sewing machine and we go close to the like about quarter inches in 
we're gonna sew across to hold this in place you can use a long stitch length because this is just to baste it until we're ready to do the final sew up so go ahead and do that we've completed sewing on the connector uh, tabs onto our bag as you can see here and now we're going to install our zipper this is a zipper that I recycled from an old bag decide to reuse it in this my zipper is wider than one inch so I'm gonna just have it hanging a little bit off like one inch off my panel so you're gonna place your tab three inches in from the edge like so And you can glue it in place or pin it's up to you what you decide and you will stop again at three inches from the edge now if you're using the 11 inch zipper you will turn the let me show you from a smaller zipper than I have Okay, so if you are using a smaller zipper, 11 inch zipper, you will turn the ends up in a 90 degrees angle on both sides like this. Okay, and then glue it or, or you can take it to your sewing machine and stitch it down to make sure that it remains like this. And you'll do that on both ends. Now my zipper is longer than my than was required, so I can do that at my the end of my zipper, but I will stop and cut off what I don't need. So I place my zipper here. I can turn this up at an angle like this, and I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine, sew it in place, sew it down so it doesn't move. Then I'm going to glue or pin this along the edge and then I'm going to sew it in place using a zipper foot and using a quarter inch seam allowance after sewing the zipper in place on, on the exterior fabric I've placed a lining fabric right sides together with the exterior and I've pinned it in place I'm now going to take this to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew across half an inch in from both edges. We're going to sew quarter inch seam allowance straight across the zipper. But we're going to sew from the exterior. So we'll be following the existing stitch line to sew the lining in place. The zipper is now, the lining is now attached to the zipper and the exterior piece. So what we'll do, we'll fold this back and away from the zipper, like this. But before that, you will trim the end that is showing at the top here. We'll turn your bag over. With your two panels over and you will pull them away from the zipper and you can take it to your ironing board and press around here to neaten it so that is one uh, exterior front piece and the lining attached to the zipper so you will repeat for the other the exterior back and the lining back attaching it to the other end of the zipper